Hi tech enthusiasts and welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into an intriguing tech solution case that takes us all the way to the countryside, where the blend of technology and nature is revolutionizing the way we approach farm security. So why do farms need security cameras? Let's dig in. Now farms, with their vast expenses of land, Valuable machinery, livestock, and crops face unique security challenges, from preventing thief and vandalism to monitoring livestock and crop health. Having a security camera system, making it easier to observe birthing process, detect illness, and can be used to gather data for research purposes, such as studying animal behavior, testing new farming technologies. So security cameras have become an indispensable tool for modern farmers. So our client here faced a significant challenge monitoring the far end of a large farm and this setup will be challenging and costly so to tackle this we propose two different solutions first up the wire solution by utilizing two long-range PoE switches, we were able to extend the reach of our wire security cameras up to 500 meters. And that's five times the limit of a standard Ethernet cable. And the beauty of long-range PoE switch lies in their ability to transmit both power and data over a single cable. This not only simplifies the installation process, but also significantly reduces costs, and all while overcoming the distance limitation that often come with traditional setup. So we are going to place one in our farmer's house and the other one directly inside the barn. Next, I'm going to move on to the demonstration board and show you how to set it up. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and the 4 megapixel fixed lens bullet camera is already mounted on a wall. And we have 500 meters Ethernet cable between our long range PoE switches. So let's do the connection together. Let's pretend we are at the farmer's house and this is the router, the long range PoE switch and the NVR. They're connected to each other to provide data and also connected to the monitor to display video footage. Now, the long range PoE switch has four PoE port and two uplink port. But keep in mind only port number one and two are the long range port. Therefore, I'm going to plug in the 500 meters Ethernet cable to port number one. Coming over here, since I don't have a big row of 500 meters, so I'm going to use a coupler to join the 300 meters and 200 meters Ethernet cable together. So total now I have 500 meters. Coming over to this side, let's pretend we are already in the barn and this PoE switch is also compatible with IEEE AO2.3 AF and AT standard supply up to 30 watts of maximum output power. So our connected PD can receive 100 megabit per second data rate within 500 meters. So I'm going to plug it in to port number one. Again, port number one and two are the long range PoE port. And this is an Ethernet cable that connected to our bullet camera. And you are also able to connect other devices to your switch, like other cameras and wireless SS point. So now it is already connected. Let's check out our monitor to see if it's connected. Here we go. So you can see the live video footage on our monitor. And not only you can watch live feed on your monitor, you're also able to watch them on your mobile device. Just log in to our Green Backyard application and voila, let me till it. Here we go. So you can also view the live video feed from the palm of your hand. But if LAN cables isn't the best option for a customer, and that's where our second solution comes into play. Now to achieve a truly cable-free setup, we turn to wireless network bridge. 
This technology creates a dedicated wireless link between two points, enabling the transmission of data over a large distances without the need for physical cable. So by strategically placing our wireless bridge one at the barn and one from the house here, now we manage to establish a robust and reliable connection that allows for real-time monitoring of the farm's most remote area. And the advantages is cost-effective, scalable, and incredibly versatile, offering clear video transmission without the hassle and expense of pulling cables. So now we're looking at our setup for solution 2. This is the wireless bridge. It is specifically designed to extend network transmission range by building high-speed point-to-point or point-to-multipoint wireless communication to provide network for remote IP devices, such as IP cameras, wireless access point. And you can set up a wireless connection at a maximum of 900 megabit per second transmission data rate within three kilometers transmission range with no obstacle in between. We are going to connect it to our outdoor PoE switch so it can provide both power and data for our fixed lens bullet camera. So let's do the connection from this end. Pretend we are at the barn. We have the Ethernet cable already connected to the bullet camera. Now we are going to connect it to our outdoor PoE switch. So you can provide the power and data for the camera. It is already powered up. I'm going to use an other ethernet cable to connect our switch all the way to our wireless bridge up here. Let's take out the cap. Now this is our wireless bridge. I already plugged in the ethernet cable from the switch to this bridge and it is already powered up. You can see the button right here. Since it has a plug and play connection, you can match the wavelength of each bridge easily by only pressing this button without complicated configuration on the web. Besides, our switch, our bridge here has a signal string indication help you know the real status of our Wi-Fi signal for effective installation. Looking at the back, we have the wavelength. This is our channel number. I'm going to press a single button to change the channel. Now we are at channel zero. So here we are looking at the power supply and make sure you tilt it to the S mode. So we're done set up at the barn. Now let's pretend we are at your home. We have the router already connected to the bridge. Now let's check out the bridge. This is an ethernet cable from the router so you can provide internet access to the bridge and send the signal all the way to our barn. It is already powered up and make sure on this side you till it on the M mode. Now looking at the back, we have to make sure the wavelength which is the channel number is the same as the one at the barn. So let's hit the button again. Do you remember the signal? Right, it's signal is channel number zero. So now we are on the same channel. Let's close up the, tag, the cap here. Make sure your wireless bridge is installed at a line of sight and with no obstacle between for optimal performance. So coming over here, this setup is already complete. I'm going to show you the video footage on our mobile device. Looking at our phone, I'm going to wave my hand. So you can see this is absolutely a live video. So it allows you to have remote access through your mobile device anywhere that you want. So looking at our monitor, our bullet camera here can provide a broader perspective and also a comprehensive coverage with the 4mm fixed lens. So you can capture every detail in the barn with ease. And this camera 
also feature IR night vision, provide clear and detailed images up to 100 feet in a low light condition, guaranteeing 24-7 superior coverage, and built to withstand harsh weather condition. It has an IP66 waterproof metal enclosure, ensure its durability against dust and water, which is perfect for any environment. So each solution has its own set of advantages, making them ideal for a different scenario. The long-range PoE switches offer a wired reliability with extended reach, which is perfect for those who can manage some cable laying. On the other hand, the wireless network bridge provides a flexible and quick-to-deploy option for truly remote or difficult-to-access areas. And if you're fascinated by how technology is transforming traditional industrial or you've got a tech challenge that needs solving, then you're in the right place. Feel free to send us your problem through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will provide a solution that's tailored for your specific need. Now before you go, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insight. So thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.